What is up, App Nation? Welcome to another weekly YouTube live stream where we go live, obviously, and we take a look at your app, and we also give you a master class on what's working in the app space today. And today, I am so pumped up because I'm super excited to have this guest on. He 3 x now, spoiler alert, he's gone to 4X his app revenues just by watching some of the YouTube content we've been sharing, doing a lot of his own tests, which I always recommend. And he's going to break down everything he did. And he did that Forex revenue with just 15 downloads a day. So I thank him for sharing all these numbers publicly. And we're going to really meet this guest. So without further ado, let me introduce guest. His name is Sopan Skandari, and he is the developer of Penman. Go check it out. It is Penman in the app stores or penman.app. Sopan, welcome to the show, man. Hi, Steve. Thanks for having me. Glad to be here. All right, before we break down all the changes you made with the app, tell us a little bit about how you got started and why you created it, and tell us a little bit about the app too. So uh, it all started probably around four, three or four years ago, and it was just an idea in uh, college with my wife. And uh, we just thought, uh, let's create, a, let's, uh, we were in the classroom and we wanted to take notes fast. So we said, okay, let's just create an app to write notes faster. Uh, and Nothing's better than speech text, you know. So that idea just uh, popped in our uh, popped in our minds, and uh, we decided to work on that. Uh, so that became our college project, actually, too. Uh, the first version was uh, released uh, almost a year ago, and uh, we never thought it would get any impression or downloads, really. But uh, a bit after that, uh, we received an email from Apple that they liked our app and they wanted to uh, promote and show us in the in the homepage and we were obviously thrilled and uh, we got uh, a lot of impressions around 10,000 downloads, which is crazy for us. And wow. that's when we uh, we realized there is something in it. People are liking it and people are downloading it. We were generating some revenue and that's when things uh, became serious. You know, uh, we, we rewrote the app like two years ago to add more features, add an iPad version, at Mac version, uh, and a lot of small refinements till we got here. That's, that, awesome, that's the general whole idea about the app. How did you, did you do anything to get Apple's attention? You know, some of the things you can't do is if there's a new iOS, you know, iOS 15, if there's certain features, new features that the Apple's coming out with, did you do incorporate some of that? How did you manage to get their attention? To be honest, I've, I've got a wild guess that how it happened. After we launched the app, after uh, maybe around one month or two months later on, we decided to uh, tweet and I made some uh, posters, some mockups, and I tweeted that in uh, Twitter. Uh, surprisingly, uh, it got some good impressions. People viewed the app, viewed the tweet, retweeted, and it was around those days that uh, I found out that uh, someone followed me on Twitter and uh, in his bio, he wrote that uh, he worked in App Store editorial team. Oh, and wow. apparently somehow uh, one, of, uh, one of those guys in the editorial team saw this, saw this tweet and liked the tweet, liked the app. I believe that's how we got the uh, promotion app store. I think that's my guess. But I always, uh, I always, you know, uh, even even at the early days of coding for uh, iOS, I knew that Apple liked those apps which followed its uh, interface guideline, even its almost its design. So even when I decided to des uh, design Penman, I always had Apple apps in my mind, Apple interfaces in my mind. So I could design mm -hmm. it and correlate with Apple apps, you know. I believe these small things had a chance, had, you know, had an impact on us getting featured on uh, App Store. Man. Okay, let's take a, take a look at the app. And you want to, sure. so here, let me do this real quick. Thanks. Maybe we can go into some of the presentation that we talked about. And sure. then, how do I do this? <laughs> All right, there. <laughs> uh, we're trying a new platform here. And so I'm always like, hmm, how do I do all this stuff? All right, let's take a look at this. So let's talk about the results real quick. And thank you. So upon for putting all these numbers together, let's see how no fast my computer goes, man. Jeez Louise. All right. 
Okay. Here are the numbers. So thank you so much for putting this together and being so open and honest. And I think this is how I feel like is the app masters family, right? Like if you've got a case study and you've got some wins, email me just like Sobhan did. And I, I said, Hey, when I got the email, Sobhan, I was like, Oh my God, this is so cool. And I was like, you got to come on to do this. And so here are the numbers. Let's break it down for me. Like what was happening each month? Uh, so be before this, uh, I want to say that yeah. we were generating around uh, 400 to 500 bucks a month. Uh, this this has been the average uh, past two years, maybe. But okay. uh, around June, I started to notice that our, our revenue is decreasing. You know, it actually hit the all time low of 270 bucks in a month, which was the all time low. Uh, our, even we had like um, almost 500 downloads but uh, our revenue took a hit and that was uh, that was the time that uh, i really thought that things need to change and that was exactly the time which i started watching apps masters video you know mm -hmm. and uh, what happened was that uh, i started uh, testing these uh, small changes these uh, aso modifications uh, mm -hmm. so uh, it all started it actually started from uh, from analyzing Firebase. I'm using Firebase in order to analyze everything in my app. And uh, I, I started implementing Firebase events. By using Firebase, uh, Firebase events, I found out that uh, people are not actually opening some pages, or even though they are opening the page, they are not clicking on the purchase button, for instance, you know? Uh, hmm. Aside even from that, many of many of our users are even having internet issues. You know, I get the user to this point that they click the purchase button after this all this effort, but they somehow face some internet issue that the purchase cannot be done. I found all these small insights uh, implementing Firebase events, so I encourage everyone to use either Firebase events or any other sort of. Uh, even tracking system they know, but I definitely recommend using it. So that's when I just, uh, when I found out that things need to change in app, app needs some uh, modification, definitely needs some modifications. So it was around June that uh, I decided to, for a test, remove the monthly subscription and migrate to only yearly and only lifetime. So the user now has just two, uh, just two options, either yearly or lifetime. Right, but but it wasn't uh, it wasn't enough actually, so, because okay. I had this I had this premium page the previous like one yearly lifetime. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, you want me exactly. to show the previous one? Yeah, yeah. So hold on, here I'm gonna do this. I don't want to. I don't want people to just get the. Go ahead, keep talking. I'll show the previous okay. one. Okay, I'll I'll bring it up. Uh huh. Okay, okay. So I had this previous design which was. Uh, short actually and during mm -hmm. those time i thought people uh, people don't want to scroll and maybe they don't want to spend so much time in premium page so i just need to grab them fast uh, make a little make a small premium page to get them and uh, and convert them to paid users fast and that's where i was wrong actually uh people just showing in a short premium page with no much testimonials or features yeah. tables, that just didn't work. That just didn't work. And I watched Steve's uh, program about uh, long premium pages and how they increase the conversion rate. So I decided to give Hold the on, go. So and... one. Hold on. Sure. Hold on one second. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you're going, no problem. you're jumping ahead. I, I like it. Okay. Hold on one second. And here's what I want to do. I think we kind of gave it away already, but here is what I really wanted to do was show it side by side here. Oops. Exactly. There. Okay. So you had a look, spoiler alert. Soban kind of mentioned it, but this is his first page. You got, and I guess you got rid of the monthly. But I don't have the exactly. yearly and the lifetime offer, exactly. but it looked very similar to this, I'm assuming. And then you went to, so anyways, spoiler alert, we've been talking about this a lot. And I really love that, you know, when I looked at your page, it sort of broke down all the elements kind of put there for that super mama. The, it looks very similar to what they had as yeah. well. And so I love the the way you did it, but this is, I wanted to play a game with everybody just to make sure everybody played along, but yes, spoiler alert. This is the, go ahead. You can go on. Sorry. 
So the A design is the old design, which was pretty short, not much details there, only the for premium features and two simple buttons of uh, either monthly or yearly. This was the initial design and it didn't actually uh, convert much people to paid users. It didn't earn much revenue. So I decided to change and switch to the second one, which is the B design. And uh, I did about I did some small research back then, and I found out that uh, there was this research done in Stanford using a speech to text app versus just normal keyboard type of writing, and they found out that if you use an speech to text app, your writings uh, is done like are written three times faster. So I kind of used that as a testimonial there in the header to like give that big show that you you will write three times faster if you use Penmap. And uh, right after that, I, sh I, I showed our packages, which I introduced lifetime in that, almost in that era, uh, and the yearly option. So this was just these two simple plans. And after that, a place to show the premium features, what are the our premium features, and a testimonial right below that, that we, all, we almost have now around 50,000 users who are using Penman every day. But not, of course, not every day, but they, they have downloaded Penman so far. So I just want to point out that, that we have been featured by Apple. We have been featured by these websites. And uh, right, after that, right after that, a feature stable, what you will get in the basic uh, plan, what you will get in the premium plan. Uh, and to be honest, I really, really, th sorry, Steve, I think I don't have your uh, voice. I muted myself. All right, so I want to break this oh, down okay. a little bit. So, you know, we, we've recommended this. I love that you borrowed, right? And that's what I've done too. If you don't have social proof, this headline, he borrowed it. You know, do some research, go on Google, literally put in like, hey, how this might affect. And for me, it was like pink noise. I found some thing where it was scientifically proven that pink noise improves memory. So I was like, all right, scientifically proven to improve memory, right? Love the, the pricing page up front and center. And we'll take a look at the app itself and how it shows up. And I love the social proof. These are all elements of a really high converting pricing page. The, the reason, the one thing I wanted to ask about with you is the basic, why go unlimited? Why not like limit it to just like three or four? Why go unlimited here on the basic plan, unlimited notes and notebooks? The thing is uh, during our first days of uh, releasing uh, and man, we got a lot of negative reviews on App Store that uh, why, why you know, uh, free features are not that much. So oh. we had to kind of compromise a bit you know, and give people more free features to kind of avoid those uh, negative reviews. You know, it was hurting us. So we decided to, you know, give people a bit more free features. We even uh, gave people free uh, speech to text for a period of time, you know. Oh, wow. Okay. I love how it breaks it down. I think this is one of the most important features is because people want to understand what can I get for free and what are the premium features as well. And then I love the weight of everything. Are you a designer too, or is your wife the designer who put this together? Uh, I did design this app and page, but I don't consider myself a really designer. It was just yeah. some hobby. Again, use user reviews. I love the layout here. And then again, the, the pricing page one more time and how some frequently asked questions as well. Hey, what's this deal ends? So tell me about this. I noticed that. Uh, yeah, this is actually with this, uh, we implemented our, in our previous page too. I just want to give people that feelings that this deal might end soon. And if you mm -hmm. don't rush, you will lose it. And the prices will go, uh, will increase back to their previous price. You know, these ones right here. Exactly. Yeah, that's awesome. All right. So when did this new page come about? Let's go back to this data. Uh, I believe it was around uh, August in June. August we launched the new page. Exactly, it was around almost around August in June. We added lifetime package, but it wasn't enough. You know, it wasn't getting people converted. So in G in July, around July and August, we changed the uh, premium page, and things started to show really. Got it. So this is where you start yeah. noticing the jump. You're like, hey, yeah. oh, we don't have the the life, the total sales, but this is where you're noticing the jump, the yearly jump, exactly. the lifetime jump. You remove the monthly, and you exactly. notice like you know way more revenues here 
in this. And then, you know what I really liked about this too? Granted, you know, I think this is all new. Well, there's some, probably some old ones too, but look at September. Like you had less downloads in August, but more revenues. That's really exactly. cool. Yeah. That, that, that was just came to my surprise. Like. Yeah. It looks like most people are now buying the lifetime offer. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I love it. Any big other big changes that you made? Because the other thing I wanted to break down for everybody too, I grabbed all the numbers that you kind of pre presented. I did. Did I do total revenues? I must have done something different. All right. I must have just pulled. Oh, proceeds. Yeah, here. I pulled all the proceeds and I wanted to look at downloads per revenue per downloads. Yeah. And so on, like, correct me if I'm wrong. So I don't, I wouldn't say I'm a huge expert on this, but this is the number I tend to look at, right? Like, I'm like, mm -hmm. Hey, how much can you afford to pay per install? Now, so upon exactly. knows that if you wanted to run Apple search ads, he can pay up to, let's say, you know, after Apple's taken all that stuff, well, let's say you want to go a dollar, a dollar per download. Now you have a cost per install in mind and a goal in mind, rather than just trying to throw any type of installs and try to get just any type of traction, you fix the product with just 15 downloads. And now because of fixing the product, now you can afford to potentially pay per download exactly. because you know it's going to convert pretty well exactly that that was actually what i was looking for you know i yeah. i tried implementing apple search as for pre uh, for a short period of time but i wasn't getting the results because the product wasn't ready you know yeah even though i got impressions but well when the product is unready those impressions not converted really right yeah right i like it man well thanks for sharing all that with us i want to say hi to a few people too and then go into some of the questions that they might have rassi says steve live streaming time has changed yeah so we did go back last sunday for we did fall back and so the time did change theoretically across the world but we fell back one hour in the us so and then i think matthew's having some problems in there as well i do not let me see how some James, how's it going? And in Canada, I don't know what that means, but welcome. Bianca, good to see you. Joe, good to see you. Yash is here as well. Yash Gupta. Bijwat, what's happening, my friend? And we've got Bits and Tech Bytes. Adrian, what's happening? Adrian, hopefully he'll come back on a little bit. Are you developing in Swift? Kang asks. Yes, Yash, the app is totally written in Swift. And then Salanto. Okay, we're, I think we're going to like uh, your apps, but looking forward to this. Thanks for organizing it, Steve. You're welcome. So, Juan, thanks for coming on. James, love this detail. Thank you. That was really cool. Like all the things you put on, people were getting. Sure. Hi. What's happening, Ricardo? And then Dogs of War Music. Always very interesting videos. I appreciate that. All right, let's see what Matthew says. Does Apple test in app subscriptions before approving? This is actually pretty important. We got rejected twice for this uh, for this particular problem. Uh, the app does test subscriptions and all the in-app purchases, and it's very crucial for them. Especially our app rejected for a reason uh, that came to my surprise too. We developed two different pages uh, for our premium page. One it was actually a simple dialogue that showed, uh, hey, uh, do you want to get this offer for like a two dollars lesser and the user clicked yes i want uh, i want to get this offer and the premium page was shown apparently this is uh, not allowed by apple laws and apple rejected us rejected our app and told us this, you can only have one premium page you can you cannot have one dialogue leading to another premium page and uh, we had to remove that dialogue surprisingly our app was even approved many times before many times even that dialogue building being implemented but uh, some reviewer reviewed that and said that uh, it's not a load it's not a lot and you've got to delete it and we had to delete it and only have one premium page all in approaches in that and those in approaches are thoroughly tested by apple yeah apple gosh okay let's bring this i want to bring something up because there's a question that rassi had and We'll go back to B real quick. Oh, and so in the B layout, showing three screens is an easy you to scroll to view all the info or how does it exactly work? Yes. Right. 
<laughs> it's, it's actually a long scroll. It's a long screen where you scroll, and we can we can, we'll we'll look at the app too. Because so, Ban, had, did you do anything to the onboarding sequence at all as well? I actually I showed the premium page at the end of the onboarding too. So yeah. when the onboarding is done, the uh, the premium page is shown. Okay, so did you have that before, or was it like we, no, we no, no. Months? Okay, so like if, in July or whenever you made this change to the longer pricing page, you show the onboard, you show the pricing page during the onboarding, and then you went to exactly. a longer one at the same time. Exactly. exactly. Got it. Love it. And then let me go back to this. Joe asks, "Do you do any form of check to see if people are subscribed to yearly before purchasing the lifetime?" Check to see if people are subscribed to yearly before. Well, I ch I tend to track people using uh, f using the events, and uh, uh, but uh, I'm not sure really exactly what uh, you mean, Joe. If you can well, elaborate I think more, here I can subscribe. I can see what he's trying to talk about, and I think it's going to be a small number of people that are doing this, Joe. Frankly, but he's saying like, hey, what if I already subscribed to the yearly, mm -hmm. and then I buy mm -hmm. the lifetime? Do you check to make sure that I don't have I'm not already a subscriber before I jump onto the lifetime. They automatically get converted, you know. What's that? They automatically get they automatically get converted to their lifetime. Their lifetime change they plan changes to lifetime. Okay. And then do you oh, okay just it's a it's an Apple thing. Apple automatically takes care of it. Exactly. Got it. That's a great question actually. I didn't I didn't know that. Okay, do I'm gonna write that down. That's a that's a good one. I like that one. All right, let's see. Yes, yes. See these screens. Hi everyone. Hi Timoth. Hi Timmy or Tim. <laughs> Sorry, Tim. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Tech Valley says, "Tell us how we can improve app downloads." What do you got, Sofan? How can we improve app downloads? What I did was uh, I modified ASO a bit there. You know, I changed my title, changed my subtitle, changed my. Uh, even category, I even tried changing the category, and it had some effects on downloads. You know, we uh, the our problem was that at first, if you see the downloads of July, it was pretty good. It was around five hundred. One of the problems was that even though we were we were people were seeing us, but uh, what I believe was that people were finding us on wrong keywords. So one mm. of those things which I did was I changed the keywords. So even though lesser people were downloading us, but they were the correct ones who were downloading us, you know? Yeah, I love that too. And I love that you actually lost Penman, right? Like you just went exactly. the text note and you're just like, I'm going to go SEO on this exactly. or ASO on this versus having my brand and all that stuff. And I, I love exactly. this too. And I think it's, it goes to what I think most indies should be doing because you have your branding right here, right? You have your branding, you have the Apple feature, all that is great. And the cool thing about an Apple feature too, that I've noticed upon is when you have an Apple feature, let's say you have an Apple story too, and they do a prominent Apple feature that becomes index. And so as you change your ASO, you change those things around, you start being indexed for keywords that you normally weren't because that Apple feature story now is indexed and then you start showing up. And we noticed that for a client of ours where we started changing the ASO, we ranked number one for this term already, but we're also the Apple feature story is number four. And so that's the benefit of the Apple I feature see. as well. I see. All right, yeah, a lot of ASO stuff. Tech Valley, come on, are you new to the channel? Go check out our ASO stuff. There's a lot of stuff there, all right. Bits and bytes tech. Hey Steve, do you think adding a small video to the pricing page can help increase conversions? That's actually not a bad idea. Bits and byte. I know video is well used on the web. I don't know how it would perform on an app per se, just because I don't want the user to like go somewhere else. So I don't know. Like I think it's worth testing. Interesting idea. So Bob, what do you think? You think a video would help? At all? To be on, to be honest, I even thought of uh, putting in uh, putting in a video, there. but the thing is, uh, the uh, the quality of the video needs to be good. You know, yeah. I if if you ask me, I think a, a ready mock up would not would not do the job for you. You know, you know, you've you've got to get it good if if it's a video. Yeah, it's my yeah. it's my okay. opinion. I I I agree with that too. All right, but it's a, it's a good test. Miguel, love the show. Thank you. Love you that you're here. And then Joe says, yeah, they do test subscriptions. So he got rejected due to a bug in the recipient validation. Nile, hi, how are you doing? Tim, all good. All right. 
All right, let's see. Joe says, with auto renew subscriptions, there are subscription groups which allow users to either upgrade or downgrade. That's cool. And then Miguel asks, how often do you make minor app updates to the app? Uh, if you're not releasing a feature and we're just doing mod uh, ASO modifications, maybe an update in two weeks or three weeks. But if you are adding uh, features, uh, maybe once in a month. Yeah. Yeah, I think once a month is good. I think from an ASO perspective, we do recommend at least once a month too. Hey, so have you noticed that Apple is starting to change, check the code base of anything too? Like you can't just say bug fixes and have the same code base. Have you noticed that? I've heard inklings that Apple is starting to reject because it's like, this is the same version as the last version. Honestly, I have done that. I, I actually have uploaded the same binary maybe twice or three times even. Recently? Uh, no, there was, uh, yeah, recently. Uh, there okay. wasn't any sort of check or rejection because of that. That's good. All right, let me, I want to show off your app, all right? Let's, you walk us through any type of changes that you made before. Let me move this. Move. This record thing, I want this to move. <laughs> <laughs> don't just love it when like your computer just acts up on you all right are you the thinking type pen man helps your keep your thoughts ideas and notes together in all the same way cool speak your thoughts stay organized and notebooks sync across all your devices awesome start writing now did you how did you come up with these as the main topics that you want to cover on the onboarding sequence uh if if you follow the sequence it's kind of telling a very short story right mm -hmm. from the start and at the end it tells you now start writing it's a it's a very short story that how penman how this app can help you if, if you done. start from the first slide so done and then you show the pricing page okay. i love it you have a little countdown so this i love that you've added the little countdown so after 15 minutes i'm going to assume this goes up to 49 or whatever price it goes up to right It's going to change prices. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. I love it because one of the things is urgency, right? You want to have some urgency. And I love the way you've laid this out that it's not so overbearing as well. And here, let me try this one month. Oh, wow. You have a one month free trial on this that's going on right now. That's crazy. That, that's, have you tested the trial period? Uh, that's a small, uh, that's actually, uh, we've done a collaboration with App Advice, and it was their suggestion to add this one month of free trail to yeah. so that we can promote your app. Got it. <laughs> nice. Really following the channel. I love it. Okay. Uh, when did you run that promo? It was, uh, it was a month ago, actually. Okay, cool. Well, you only have to leave it for a couple of days. What, so, what Soban is referring to, I... I yeah, hey, I can pull it up for you guys, but I have this campaign that I love to run. And this is back to, I think, was it Rassi's question? Somebody was like, Tech Valley, maybe. How do you increase conversion, increase downloads? One of my favorite ways is to do an app advice campaign called Apps Gone Free. And with the subscription based app, you're going to have to do a 30 day free trial. And what we, so that's why Sobhan has that 30 day free trial right here. But you only have to leave it for a couple of days because App Advice is the biggest downloads are going to be the first couple of days and then you can change it back to your normal whatever trial period it was the, the funny thing was that even though uh, after adding this one month of month, one, one month trial i thought people would you know our uh, lifetime purchases will get lesser because of that one uh, one mm -hmm. big uh, big trail period but mm -hmm. uh, no actually our lifetime purchase was still the same people people actually like the lifetime for uh, plan even more than a one month of pri uh, trail period, you know? Yeah. And I think I'm glad you said that because that's what we found. And I like the way that you've laid this out because this is probably the best way. Cause what we normally see when we're running app advice campaigns for subscription based apps is sometimes you'll get a high conversion sometimes, but it's, it's more like the rare one of our clients. He's like, Hey Steve, we like, I think it was three X or four X is revenues month over month after an app advice campaign. So you saw like people staying on, but we normally don't see that. We more normally see people subscribe to their trial, their one month trial and then cancel generally speaking, right? That's more often than not. But here, because you have a lifetime offer, you're getting a ton of downloads and also you're bringing these downloads and they're like, Hey, exactly. Oh, I'll just get the lifetime. You know, like, forget it. It's, I like this exactly. app. It looks cool. I'll just get the lifetime. It's a better way of running it. I like it. 
cool. All right. So I'm going to hit X out. You going to keep it then? You're going to keep the lifetime? The one month trial? I, I really, I really, I'm not sure really. I've got to see the results more. Uh, nice. I like it. What is this magic button? Nice. Very keep nice. Remembering. Everything else is very, very clean. I love it. Did you always have this little icon too? Up oh no, that way. was that was added in an update recently to maybe around three months ago. Yeah. So you made pretty big changes. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Okay, let's see if there's some other questions that we can get into. Oh, did you make a time? Joe mentioned something about connecting the subscription to uh, non-consumable uh, Joe. Yeah, this one. I don't think you can tie yeah. that into regular non-consumable IOP. Now, this is a very yeah. nerdy tech talk. So you guys talk yeah, about yeah. this. <laughs> yeah, he's right. You've got to handle it. Handle that on your own. On your own site, Apple doesn't that automatically. Okay, he's so right. if you were, if I had the yearly and then I decide I want to upgrade to the lifetime, you're going to have to do it on your end. It's a code thing. Okay. Got it. Okay. And then we've got Sardar. Hey, how's it going? And then Joe says, interesting title and subtitle, no branding in it. Hmm, I should try that. <laughs> I like it. And then Bytes and Tech, uh, something like a five-minute explainer video. I think five minutes is way too long, way too long. So I think, you know, if you look at pricing pages on the web, and I'm just going to say it, and that's why I started saying longer pricing pages on the app should outperform. And now we have enough stats that said will outperform. I feel, I feel pretty confident in saying, but what I was trying to, what made me think about that was the longer pricing pages on the web and the video elements, Bytes and Tech, usually are like some videos, like how it works, but usually are testimonials. So it usually is a big headline, a lot of feature tables, a lot of tests, but like a lot of testimonials too. And while people may not watch it, people see it and they're like, oh, this is real people talking about something. So it's usually testimonials versus like explaining what the app does so to speak. So I'm just borrowing stuff from the web. Anything you want to add on that, Soban? Yep. Yeah, Joe's like, five minutes seems like a very big commitment. So I agree. Yeah. All right, Ram says, you don't have your brand in the app, app name field. Do you feel like it might hurt if people try to search for your specific app? Uh, to be honest, you know, I, I had Penman in the title for a long time. But uh, the thing is, uh, I'm an indie developer who doesn't have like tens of thousands of dollars to just run big ad campaigns to promote for, to promote my brand. So I decided to change things and uh, you know focus on it on a, on my ASO more than promoting my brand. You know, and it had uh, pretty positive effects too. All right. So we didn't prepare this. So let's let's see what happens when I. I'm sure you already know the answer. But what happens when I search for Penman? Is it in the keyword field? Where is it? Is it anywhere? Uh, it's actually now it's no it's nowhere, but it's nowhere. Still okay. found, it's nowhere, but Apple finds yeah. it. So look, look at it's you're still number one for it. Exactly. And then I guess you were going after penmanship or no? No, not that one really. Yeah. But yeah, so that's the beauty of it. Maybe when you start with it, it gets indexed. And maybe exactly. if it doesn't have a lot of traffic, which I'm assuming Penman doesn't because it's your brand, but you'll, you'll still rank for it. And that's what we've seen exactly. with other apps too. So go work there. All right. So Bon, did you have any dad jokes in mind? Uh, I've got one actually. You do? All right. You want me to start or you want to start? Uh, I will start. So okay. I found that this, I found this one. I thought it was cool. So, uh, what did the zero say to the eight? That bit looks good on you. Oh, wait, you went too fast, bro. <laughs> okay, yeah. hit me one more time. What? What did the zero say to the eight? Eight. That built eight. looks good on you. Yeah. The eight number. I like it. I wish I had a sound effect. Ding! Where's my bell? Who took my bell? <laughs> All right, I like it. All right, I got one too. And then, guys, just put vote. Oh, no, we have Sobhan and we got Steve. So put SO for Sobhan and put ST for Steve. Steve. Okay, here we go. So, Bon, what do you call a rooster staring at a pile of lettuce? What do you call a rooster staring at a pile of lettuce? And Chicken sees a salad. Ba -ding! <laughs> All right, bad sound effects. All right. 
<laughs> All right, guys, let's take a look at some apps, shall we? And we help some other indies out there. So if you want us to take a look at your app well, free on YouTube in a future stream, just go to appmasters.com slash audit. The link is also in the YouTube description as well. Just go to appmasters.com slash audit. And Toban, you said you you're, you were referred to us by a friend of yours who got a free app audit from us? Exactly. What's it the app called again? Right. The app was Righty. Righty. How do you guys spell that? R I. W R I. T E Y, I believe. Exactly. W R I T E Y, I believe. E Y. Me. He was doing a lot of ASO modifications. He might have changed the name. Okay. I can't find it. But what does the app do? Just helps you write certain things better or something? Right? Is it Right Lee? Maybe Right Lee. I'm checking it. Your too. friend's going to hate you. You can't even remember his app. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll take a look at this first app. We've got, let me, Os Osman, who says he wants monetization help. So we'll take a, we'll take a look at this. Okay. Let me pull it up. Osman. Rudy, how's it going? All right. Uh, let's see. Who, who, who won so far? We've got ST. One vote for me. One vote for you. One vote for me. It's tied. Come on, guys. Break it. Rudy, you missed it. Break the tie. All right. Break the tie. Okay. We've got Osman. I think I must have messed up his name. But he's got a game. It looks like Ludo Ludo. And I think when I was looking at this, Ludo seems like a popular game. In... I think it was India, but I don't know if, if it was India. But anyways, it seems like it's, it's a popular game. Ludo game. Yeah, I don't know where it's popular, but I, I thought it was India. I could be wrong, but it seems like it's a popular game for that. All right, he wants monetization help, so he's really going after. What do you think about this? Repeating Ludo a bunch of times, yeah, the title and then the subtitle. I don't believe repetition that much really works in your benefits. Yeah, I agree. I don't think it helps. I've heard some people say it helps, but I don't think it helps at all. I think the other thing that I would be thinking about, how do you say his name? Quasim is the other keywords around Ludo. So let's take a look. And this is what I, one of the things I do too here. I will pull this up. So let's look at Ludo real quick. Right. So Ludo Club, Ludo Master, Ludo World, Ludo Classic. These are all keywords and then you have i think ludo video chat or something with friends or something like that where's my where's your thing in pakistan okay so thank you guys so it looks like ludo game with video chat i don't think anybody's going to be searching for that but maybe like games with friends so you do rank for that but i'm gonna assume that has no volume so here ludo game with video chat all right so let's take a look and thank you, Tech Valley. He says Ludo is popular in Pakistan and India. Okay, cool. Let's take a look. You know how to play Ludo? So fun. Mm -hmm. I've never had to play it actually. Yeah, me neither. Okay. This app uses a camera. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm going to hide. I should probably have another email address, but all right. <laughs> cool. Uh, 2.5K. I like this. Let's see what happens. What do you think is going to happen so well when I hit claim? No, let's see. All right. Great. So there's an opportunity. Kasim, I'm going to say that's his name, but the after you let me claim it, show a double so show that 2.5 the, the coins that you gave me but say 5x for watching this video and that's an easy way for you to get downloads and the other thing that you can do is that 2.5k that you're giving away free for everyone well you can use that as promotion on app advice and have that little banner that shows me two options you're going to see instantly your video it's a rewarded ad right i watch a rewarded ad I get 5K, 
get coins, I'm going to do it every single time. So that's an instant way that you can increase your revenues. And we've seen it. It's data backed. Okay. It's not just my opinion. All right. So let's start. Six. Here we'll again. Five. <laughs> okay. We're going to learn together how to play this game. <laughs> okay. And tap that. Tap the token. Oh, I didn't even know that the words were going on. Look, there's an opponent token. Go kill it. 2x. All right. Tap your token. So, Bon, I don't know if you noticed, but I wasn't reading. My attention was so much concentrated on this little moving finger that exactly. I didn't know things were changing up top. Exactly. I didn't notice okay. that too. It's a magician trick. This is a bad way of doing it because I'm not going to read it. Magicians like to show, hey, something right here while they hide something with the other hand. Right. That's why they have like, you know, spectacular and like mm. other props because they like to just make your eye focus. And so when you do have your eye focused on this, I had no idea there's any text up top. So I'm going to go keep going though. All right. One of the things I'm looking for as well is I like this. So this type of stuff is great. You, you should have a starter pack. Borrow what Sopan has already done with some like, hey, this is a little countdown, 15 minutes. Have you tested around with like how much time to give? I know you have 15 minutes, but have you tested that at all? Mm, to be honest, no. I want it to be not that long, not that short yeah. to get the person to convert. I think 15 minutes is a perfect time. And I think what I would do is try to increase the value a little bit. I would try to give away more stuff and try to get people to buy a 199 product versus a 099. And I think what, Sovan, maybe you can sh share some top because you've tried some pricing tests, but what we've seen from just paid apps back in the day is 199, you make more revenues versus 99. While the conversions might be slightly lower, it doesn't offset. It's not low enough to offset the more increase in revenues. So I would try to get people to pay 199. I think the biggest is probably 499 because they're so early on, but people are, it's a niche app, right? Like people are coming because they love the game Ludo. They want to come in. They're probably likely to pay you a little bit more than just one dollar. So try to increase that price as well. And that's what we've seen data too. Have you seen anything on your end in terms of like price changes and price increases? Uh, not this app, but I actually tried this exact thing on my another app, and I thought if people are willing to pay like one ninety nine, why not increase it to two point nine, two point ninety nine? You know, mm -hmm. and I believe it worked really. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and that's why we like talking to people. All right, cool. Uh, I don't want to do video call, but reward. Uh, I don't know what that means. Entry. Oh, okay. I can win a thousand. All right. And I guess I'm playing with somebody right now. Cool. I'm going to exit because I'm all good. You win, stranger. Free coins. Chance to recover lost coins. I like this. This is good. This is really good. I like it too. The DM is pretty professional if you ask me. Was... Yeah. And then he's telling me to watch ads. So I like that too. Yeah. It's, it's, it is well, 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 well done. Yeah. Everything else is really, really good. Yeah. I would try to increase the prices a little bit. I mean, you, you can get people to buy, but other than that, like this is well done, my friend. Okay. Got nothing else for you. You got anything else you want to share about this app? Yeah, I believe it was awesome. It's very awesome. Yeah. Good job. All right. Adrian broke the tie. So upon, I apologize <laughs> right now. I'm winning. Hope you have another joke. Sure. You have another one too? I've got another one too, yeah. Okay, good, good, good. All right, let's see if there's any questions. We'll get back to this. Do, 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 do. All right. Uh... <laughs> I should just pick the first one <laughs> while I find the next one. All right. Uh... Bits and Bytes says, I made a new developer, Google developer account, and AdMob account, but apps are now in AdMob review, ads are limited. What do you recommend? Do I use AdWords for download or hold it till review is lifted? Do you have any insights on this? I haven't used actually AdMob or ad services, you know, so I don't have much history on it to point out anything really. Yeah, I don't either, but I think if I'm understanding the question right, 
if your apps are in review right now, I might not do anything until they start showing those ads before running some ads. Does that make sense? Like I don't like, so Vaughn, we talked about this. Like, I don't want to spend any money on paid marketing until I feel like the product is good. And I know with Google, maybe you have to do it just to get the downloads rocking and rolling. But at the same time, if your ads aren't showing up, like you're not going to get any type of like revenue anyways. So why spend the money? Just wait until it gets done. Talk to ad mob. There's been a lot of people who have ad mob issues, but talk to ad mob and see, get that fixed, the ad issue fixed, and then start running some AdWords. Okay. Bits and tech. That was tech Valley. Do you think it's possible to sell subscriptions over $15 a month? Like in web people sell stuff over $100 a month. I always wonder why it's not possible. $15 a month. Do you think it's possible? Me, I would say at $50 a month is pretty much, sounds pretty much to me, but if the value really exists there, uh, I didn't expect people to uh, buy our lifetime plan for $23. It was way out of my mind. If the yeah. value exists there, they might, but uh, I don't have any data to cover it really. Yeah, I don't either. And I think, you know, what I wanted to take a look at was Calm. And I wanted to see what they were pricing the monthly at. It seems like it's 15, but I agree with you on that end. I think if it's a fitness app, you can probably charge a bunch more. So it really depends on the niche. And we, we have clients that charge more than $15 a month for their fitness app. I pay for Peloton, right? I have the bike. So granted I do have that, but like it's $40 a month and granted it is a, but it is as a bike, but I think, I do think they have a digital plan that you can get away with about 15 or $20 a month. So I think it depends on the niche. I think for fitness type of related apps, if the industry is willing to pay you that much already, then you can probably get away with it. Okie doke. Let's get into this back to us. That's an awesome feature. So love the deal ends and countdown. Yeah. I really like it too. Joe Thanks, said man. the other thing. Bishwat. Bishwajit, it says, have you done localization of your app in Play Council and in your app? Did it help in getting more downloads? So it's talking about, you don't have it on Google Play, do you? No, no, not really. I just have it on App Store. Yeah. To be honest, I always decided, I always thought of localizing it. But mm -hmm. uh, when I did some research and uh, talked with some developers, I always get those mixed reviews as some of them told me that it actually worked and some of them told me no, no, that didn't have any result in my downloads really so mm -hmm. i still haven't done it really yeah i agree and that's the way i would say because watching like what i look at is what i tend to do is i look at my competitors so i go to the sensor tower and i go are they doing well in other countries and i just start picking out the countries that they start doing well in and i'll show you guys how to do this real quick if this is interesting but I would say do it affordably as my dog goes crazy right now, do it affordably first and foremost. And then if you see some traction, then go ahead because a lot of times it can be a mixed bag of things. So let's go into this. This is the free plan within sensor tower. Give me an app. Give me, give me an app. So on like your biggest competitor. Uh, it's actually, I can't remember the name exactly. Like notes writing, I would try to search this. Okay. How about transcribe to mm, exactly transcribe there's voice there, 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 just transcribe if you if you search on transcribe you get a result. Otter, how about that? Otter, yeah, exactly. Otter. That's a pretty big competitor. Look, so US, Britain, trying to see other like non English speaking Jap Japan. So like, this is one that for one of our clients, we localized in Japan or Japanese and we're running search ads in Japan and we're running that profitably for a paid app, right? It's a paid app paid up front and we're running search ads profitably 2X ROAS on that. And so this is how I start breaking down thinking about localization. Don't spend a lot, start with the free tools. I have a whole video on localization that you guys can check out and how to do it affordably, but don't spend a lot and just start slowly on that. Okay. You know, Rassing. one of the, case, one of the yeah. cases I believe that localization might have a negative uh, effect on you is that you would go only and use like machine translated words because that's something Apple pointed out in their presentations to that you shouldn't just rely on machine translated words because those words might feel different in that language, you know, and you would instead miss, miss that users because of 
poor choices of words, poor choices of translations, you know. It's not yeah, easy, just easy to just go and use Google Translate. You know, that's not just that, that's not good enough. And I what I would say too is with Apple, it's a little bit easier, but just like I don't localize the long description. I have maybe the subtitles short enough that I can get away with, you know, having some machine and then but the the long description isn't it's still in English. So all I'm localizing is the app title, subtitle, and keywords, and I'm not localizing the long description until I see that there's been an effect in downloads, and then I might consider it and then do the screenshots and then the long description because it's going to get more expensive as you go. Okay. Rusty says on the new pricing page, are you checking to see if the users are actually scrolling down to view more about the premium or are they just hitting premium on the go now, the get now button? That's a great question. Do you know, have any data? Uh, I don't track if they are scrolling, but I track if they have opened it, if they have clicked the lifetime or yearly and at last if they have clicked the purchase button i do actually track those and i've created a funnel there to track it so do you track if they tap these two up top or exactly. do they track these two up down here both of them both of them so you you kind of know where they're if they're tapping on these or at all and hey at one last, thing i would add if... so bon, is if i'm tapping this like why not just pop it up uh, you mean why, why make there? me double tap but we should do just a single tap. Okay. Well, I'm, it looks like I have, look, I pick monthly or the yearly, and then it looks like I have to tap here. And then mm -hmm. if I do this, so anyways, just a suggestion. Adrian says, Hi, Sobon, Steve, do you find the app advice campaign a mixed bag as ironically when it's free, you get a lot of mix of reviews from one, one to five star lowering your score. Did you see that? Like, do you get, does it mess up your ratings, the app advice campaign? Not mixed reviews, actually. I got some one stars, some five stars. I actually do got them, do got them really. Not, the, it didn't change the average that much really, but the fact that it added more to the count of my ratings is and was in my favor, you know, the more mm -hmm. that number is uh, bigger, that I believe improves the social acceptance, you know, it has more uh, effect on people's way of, you know, this app has more reviews, at least in the count of numbers, and that's effective, I believe. That's what I'm after. Yeah. Rassi says, how about showing a small animation to show the user there's more info? Look, I think it's pretty obvious, right oh, here, I'll move the comment that you guys can see it. It's pretty obvious. I'm on iPhone 7 Plus. It's my extra phone. But like you can see that there's clearly, and we're used to scrolling, that I think it's fine. I think the worst way is to make them like scroll or swipe to the left, but this is fine. They really love the idea of the countdown. People are loving that. Okay. And then we got the votes. Cool. I think we're good. Uh, cool. Sadar says, what can be done to improve its monetization? I don't know what you're talking about. So you tell me. Uh, cool, 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 cool. All right, let's get into the next app. So, Bon, you want me to go first? You want to, you want to, you want to go first for the next sad joke? I'm winning. You got to tie go. it up, man. <laughs> okay, I've got this another one. So, uh, what did the ocean say to the bit, beach? What Nothing, just waved. Say? Nothing, Hold on. It just I'm wait. Give you a hint, man. Deliver the joke. You gotta give it a pause, okay? Don't go straight <laughs> into it. All right. That's why you're losing, okay? <laughs> I don't want to just win to win. All right. Try it again. Go for it. Give it a pause, though. Okay. So, what did the ocean say to the beach? Okay. What? What did the ocean say? Nothing. It just waved. Actually, it just waved. <laughs> I like it. I will have my sound effects back. Okay. Sohan, did you hear about the lobster that got the job at Pizza Hut? Yeah. He works in the crustacean. <laughs> All right. S-O for Sohan and then S-T for S for me. And whoever wins, the loser will owe him a beer. All right. How about that? Cool. 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 Let me see. Okay. So next app, Ben. All right. Let's take a look at Ben's app. Once again, guys, if you want us to take a look at your app, just go to appmasters.com slash audit at masters.com slash audit all right here we go let's take a look at this for ben's app ben hacker 
Is that your last name? Official last name, Ben? Come on, Ben Hacker. That's really cool. Golf, mind caddy, improve your golf mental game. Interesting. World renowned coach like that. Learn like the pros, short audio. So it looks like it's a, like a calm or a headspace for golf pros. It looks like, you know, that's what it looks like. It's on courses too. It seems like yeah. Some tips and courses. That's what I'm going to assume because you said prove your mental game. So, all right. And he wants feedback on Ben Hacker revenues. All right. This is what you're here for, right? So, so I did like during the, we have a long list of waiting people and I was like figuring out monetization because I was going to have you on. And so we'll take a look at the list. He has a lifetime access, which is $50, 54, but let's take a look. And then he has a discounted one and then he has a yearly option. So similar to you. All right. Let's take a look at the yes. Shall we? Let's go. I don't like the icon. I think the icon can change. I know they didn't it ask for feedback on that. Yeah, it needs I'm some sorry? It needs some improvements here too. Yeah, the icon's pretty nasty. Sorry, Ben. All right, Carl Morris, whatever your level of performance, let's make you better. So I don't know who Carl Morris is. I'm not a golfer. I don't like golf. But like that, maybe, if, maybe he's pretty well known, right? If he is, then if he's not, put like, you know, two-time PGA champion, whatever, right? Put some social proof on Carl Mars because I would need that. Okay. Ooh, he goes straight into it. So it's some audio is playing. And unfortunately, I won't be able to play it, but there is something going on right now. Cool. All right. Now, here's what I think, so on. Like, if you don't need me to really sign up in terms of like the revenues, like there's no web element, even Calm does this, right? Like, I can pay you without officially signing up. Well, let's take a look before I say that it's true. So I'm not signed up, but like, if I needed to sign up, so I can probably pay. Yeah. So I can pay Calm without signing up. I don't have a login yet. And I always say this because this becomes a, deterrent. Like, do I really want to do this with you? Let's assume I do, but I always tell the clients like, do I need to sign up for you to get my money? Cause if not, just show me the pricing page sooner. Right. Exactly. All right. So think about that, Ben, if you don't need me to sign up, don't make me sign up. Just show me the pricing page. All right. Unlock your best golf game. So I'm, I get very particular about this and maybe it's the, the American in me, but like, I don't like seeing wrong stuff. Yeah. So I'm in the US, show me the dollar sign. Don't say, show me that. I'm sure it's the same for everywhere. It's like, come on, man. Exactly. We, we had this problem and we got some negative replies from our users that this is not showing correctly. And they emailed us that we should fix it. Yeah. Uh, the no thanks is too big, probably. Mm. Okay. Ben, I would look at our videos. Right now, you gave me a little bit of intro. I don't mind this, but test the fact that I don't mind that you're you're not letting me through. I have to either pay you or get out. But one, this animation is hella distract. Hella. All right, I'm gonna go California on you. It's really distracting. I don't lose that. I lose this too. When we say animation increase, we we do think that animation does increase. It's very subtle. You have to be very subtle about it. I mean, if you think about Sofan, your thing, we'll go back to your app because it's so nice. You have some animation right here. You have this, and I love that. If we go back to other things, it could be just like subtle. If the hello moves a little bit, or if there's a little shining through effect on the Go Premium now, those are the type of things that we're talking about. But here, when your animations are distracting people from one, reading it, and two, from hitting that buy button. So Ben, like kill the animations. I'd rather have no animations versus distracting animations like you got right now. And then I did see the yearly offer and i would probably test that because with the yearly offer you can give them trial and see if the trial gets them to actually use it another business model you might test out i don't know if it's going to work just an idea for you because other apps have done it but essentially show the pricing page let them x out and give them a couple of days to use the app and then lock them out right i know a previous client of mine that's a meditation app essentially will give you seven days for free and then you have to pay or get out and that's it. And so you can do something like that too. So it gives them a little bit of a taste of the app too. Taban, you want to add anything? 
I believe that no thanks button there is not really necessary. I believe he can yeah, easily get rid of that. That's just not necessary. Here's how I say no thanks. Boop, boop. <laughs> Swipe up. <laughs> what else? What else do you see here? Uh, not here, but uh, about the strategies you just said, I really encourage everyone to use notifications to get users back to the app. I now have implemented a third, uh, I, I send notifications daily to users with some insight about the apps. Some of them are promotions, but uh, they have actually increased my, uh, the, the users, uh, the time users spend in the app. It has good effects and I really encourage everyone to use notifications. I want, I want to talk about this. Yeah, this was a topic that you, whoops. All right, I think we got everybody back. This was a topic that you emailed me about, and I would really want to dive into. So thank you for reminding me. The, um, so push notifications. First question, do you segment between subscribers and non-subscribers in terms of what push notifications you send? Uh, it's it's actually sent to everyone. I, I haven't okay. segmented them yet. Okay, talk to me about like, what does your first, okay. What is the best performing push notification if you have the data to do that? And what does that push notification say? I, I regularly send uh, notifications about discounts and they have uh, showed me some good results really. You know, I have this uh, like, like a package of notifications. I, I send first one notification about this good feature of the app. The, uh, on the second day, I sent this notification about this feature we can uh, use in the app and another notification about how or a testimonial this app can do. And after like three days or four days, I send, an, uh, I send another notification that here now you can get the app for like 30% of discount. And that's when I try to get users and it, it has had its effects really. It has shown me some good results. Wow. You mentioned this in, you mentioned that in, in one of your videos that, that, SM, that push notification campaign, which, you, which was like the one in email marketing. I kind of used uh -huh. that. Yeah, I like it. I like it, man. Yeah, sometimes I don't even know what, what I've said. And somebody, Adrian was like, hey, I use this strategy. And I was like, what is this strategy again? <laughs> like, and I, I was personally going back to all our YouTube live streams and I'm like looking for it. Adrian, you got to tell me where, what, what was that strategy, ASA strategy? I was like, I can't find that ASA strategy either. I love that, man. Anything else you want to share on the push notification side of things? Uh, yes, you can. They can uh, try to send push notification on a specific on, on special occasions like Halloween, Christmas. Mm -hmm. These type of notifications work too. I have set my notifications to be sent during like nine a.m. or ten a.m. So it's not too much late and not too soon. So it's just a fresh reminder at the in the morning, you know. Yeah. I like it. I like it, man. That's a really cool. So one of the things that you can do as well, depending on the type of app you have, like for golf mind, golf gear, let's go back to this one, golf mind caddy. If that monetization were like, Hey, you get people into the app or whatever, one of the best performing notice notifications, like see our most popular content, right? I think it, it sort of like incites a, a bit of FOMO. People want to see the most popular stuff anyways. And so if you have, if you're just selling content, then talk about like, Hey, here's our most popular meditations. Check it out. Right. Then that that's been a good push notification for us too. Exactly. Okay. Let's see if there's any other questions record. So record scanner says we were selling monthly subscriptions for $20 a month. It was overpriced on purpose to reduce the traffic. Okay. And that's one way of doing it. If you want to really put, increase that price and this is so fun. I'll, I'll just keep going back to you because it's all about you, my friend today, but here, like the prices are very similar. It's just like $10 more, right? For this, I'm like, why not? And so we have that lifetime too. We have a very close lifetime offer to the yearly. And you know what? After this, you gave me some inspiration to just kill my monthly. And so I want people on the lifetime. Like, it's just like, it's just that much cheaper. It's just like $5 more for you. It's like $10 more. So that's how you can do it. It's called anchoring a price and getting people to get to pay or get the plan that you want them to get. All right. Yash says Ludo is a popular game in India and its neighboring countries. Would you still recommend increasing prices? So when you say it. You so. I, I believe, I believe, I believe in testing, you know, testing has 
uh, has done me some good value and you've got to test test and test and refine and see the results you know it doesn't hurt you really no. i believe you should test it if you think it, in my point it, it it came to my surprise that my lifetime plan actually worked i i really had no anticipation that it might work and it worked you know so you just go for it and test it and see if it might work actually i love it all right be sure watch Jeet says, I have used localization play council in my game. It did increase. Good job on that. Is creating content, bits and bytes ask, is creating content on Instagram for the app be based on the app itself? I use social screenshots and social proof or the content should be based on providing free value like for fitness apps. So on Instagram, should you just be self-promoting essentially or should you be trying to share good value? If you ask me, I would say uh, I do need to get some sort of value to follow a uh, follow account. You know, to be honest, we we just have got a lot of uh, social medias, and uh, we we don't want to follow like tens of thousands of people. And you should really give me some value in order to follow. Or if not, I would unfollow after a moment, after a period of time. You know, yeah. just self promoting. I believe in tips. Like if you can provide the tips, it's more shareable. It's more interesting to people. People exactly. will eventually find you. It is a long term strategy, right? I was creating content way before business ever picked up. And so, but once you hit a certain point, people start recommending you just like, you know, your friend recommended you to, to us and our channel, but that's, that's how it happens. So think of social media as a long-term game versus a short-term Think of Apple search ads, Google ads as a, a short-term solution if you're trying to get more downloads. So fun, you, you did it, my friend. Maybe that tip helped because you're winning. Look hey. at this. It's a clean sweep, man. Jeez <laughs> Louise. All right. You have another joke by any chance? Nah, no, no. All right. Well, we'll go with the tie. We'll just, I'll pay. How about that? All right. What can be done to improve the monetization of the Ludo app? We kind of talked about that, Sudar. And then that is it. All right. So fun. Thank you so much for the awesome insight for all the testing. If you guys want to check it out, go to, you can, right? Even without the branding, just search for pen pal, pen man, pen man, pen man in your app, favorite app store, or go to penman.app. Check out the app is a really cool transcribe your voice to text. And just like that, it's super affordable as well, man, for a lifetime plan. Give me a break. Look, 25 bucks a month. All right. Are you, for, for your life, 25 bucks for your, life, yeah. for your whole life. So, so Vaughn, if the audience wants to connect with you in any other way, do you want to send them anywhere else? Sure. You can find me on Twitter with a uh, Salpan ES handle. Salpan ES handle. Okay. I'll uh, try to answer anyone there. Cool. Hey, send it over that Twitter handle and I'll link it up into the YouTube description as well. So you sure. can follow Salpan there. His LinkedIn is already on there as well. So if you want to connect with him, do that. And next week, we're going to talk all about content marketing. So this is great for social media content as well. We're going to talk about how do you use content to then drive app downloads and app subscriptions. And we got Sandra Wu, who's running Himalaya right now, but she was a big piece of the Blinkist pie. When we we took, we talked about Blinkist back in the day when we, or a couple of weeks ago when we broke down how they were using online content, blog content to drive app subscriptions and how they were using Facebook ads to the drive views to the content. So it's like a three piece puzzle ads, promoting content, using that content to then get more subscribers. And she's going to break it down all for you next week, 9am Pacific, check your local time, world time, buddy. That's my favorite site. 9am Pacific every Friday coming at you live. So Juan, thank you so much for coming on and doing this, my friend. Thanks for having me, man. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next week. Have a great <laughs> end stream. All right. <laughs>